good evening everyone. Um, delighted to join with you. Just want to take a few minutes just to, to worship the Lord. Um, we're just going to sing. We're just going to praise him. And we're just going to focus our minds upon him. That's all we want to do is just lift our voice and lift our, lift our thanks to him and to, to give him all the praise and give him all the glory. So let's open in a word of prayer. Father, Lord, we love you, Lord, because you first loved us, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you're always with us, Lord. We thank you that you promised, Lord, never to leave us nor forsake us, Lord. But, Lord, we just want to remind ourselves, Lord, tonight, Lord, of how good you are, how awesome you are, Lord, because you are worthy, Lord. We give you all the praise. God is able. He will never fail. He is almighty God. Greater than all we see. Greater than all we ask. He has done great things. Lifted up. Defeated the grave. Raised to life. Our God is able, in His name we overcome, for the Lord our God is able. God is with us. God is on our side, He will make a way, far above all we know, far above all we know, He has done great things, lifted up, defeated the grave, raised to life, our God is able. In his name we overcome, for the Lord our God is able. God is with us, he will go before, he will never leave us, he will never leave us. God is for us, he has open arms, he will never fail us. He will never fail us. Lift it up. He defeated the grave. Raised to life. Our God is able. In His name we overcome. For the Lord our God is able. Lift it up. He defeated the grave. Grace to life, our God is able. In His name we overcome. For the Lord our God is able. For the Lord our God is able. For the Lord our God is able. God, you're so good. My God, you're so good. Oh God, you're so good. I am blessed, I am cold, I am healed. 
and I am whole, I am saved in Jesus' name. Highly favored, anointed, filled with your power for the glory of Jesus' name. Oh God, you're so good. Oh God, you're so good. Oh God, you're so good. You're so good to me. Oh God, you're so good. Yes, Lord. Oh God, you're so good. Oh God. You're so good, you're so good to me. You'll praise the name of the Lord our God. Oh, praise His name forevermore. For endless days we will sing your praise. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord our God. Oh, praise the name of the Lord our God. Oh, praise His name forevermore. For endless things we will sing your praise. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord our God. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord our God. God, you're so good. My God, you're so good. Oh God, you're so good. You're so good to me. There is strength within the sorrow. There is beauty in our tears. And you meet us in our morning with the love that casts out fear. working in our waiting you're sanctifying us when beyond our understanding you're teaching us to trust your plans are still to prosper have not forgotten us. You're with us in the fire and the flood. You're faithful forever, perfect in love. You are sovereign over us. You are wisdom of magic. could understand your way, reigning high above the heaven, reaching down in endless grace. You're the lifter of the lowly, compassionate and kind. Surrounding you uphold me. You're 
promises of my delight. Your plans are still to prosper. You have not forgotten us. You're with us in the fire and the flood. You're faithful forever, perfect in love. You are sovereign over What the enemy means for evil, you turn it for our good. You turn it for our good, for your glory. Even in the valley, you are faithful. You're working for our good. You're working for our good, for your glory. Even what the enemy means for evil, you turn it for our good. For our good, for your glory. Even in the valley, you are faithful. You're working for our good. You're working for our good, for your glory. Your plans are still to prosper. You have not forgotten us. You're with us in the fire and the flood. You're faithful forever. Perfect in love, you are sovereign over us. Faithful forever, perfect in love, you are sovereign over us. Hello, and it's a great privilege to be able to turn to God's Word and to be able to open it up and to, to read it as well. And I encourage you, if you've got a Bible, um, if you want to turn to it or on your phone or on your iPad or whatever the case may be, just turn to it. We're going to be looking at Colossians chapter 3. We're continuing to look at this little devotional series, Victory in Christ. See, we believe that Jesus Christ is the one who, who gives us the victory. And so what we're going to see in this little portion is, is how we live that victory out. I would ask a question to people every now and then. It would be simply just, you know, how is your walk with God? Um, I haven't had, nobody's asked me it in, a, in, a, in probably a long time, but I do like to ask the question of myself, you know, how is your walk with God? And what, what I mean by that is, is it, is it any better? Are, are you closer to the Lord now than you were last year? Are you, are you more in love with the Lord Jesus Christ uh, today than you were maybe five years ago do you do you find that there's a real change in your life is there you know is there a transformation in your life because of the gospel and because of what Jesus Christ has done for you so the little section that we're coming to in this little series victory in Christ deals with all of this and this is where you know Paul begins to switch gears you know from Colossians chapter 1 and chapter 2 where he really sets out his stall you know of correction you know and, and from a number of different teachings he he now begins to switch gear into how we apply this truth to our lives how we live this this gospel life out and basically what Paul is saying is look listen you know if this is true then this is what must follow you know if, if Jesus has done this then this is how you must uh, live it out you see Paul was very much a defendant of the truth he was very much for correcting where there was error and where there was wrong but he was also very uh, important that he, he, he laid an em emphasis on living out the calling of God and the transforming power of the gospel. And so that's why when we turn to Colossians chapter 3, uh, this little section, I'm going to break it up, you know, we're going to be looking at the first 11 verses. I'm not going to read all those 11 verses now, but uh, the first thing that he begins to say in verse 1 is, he says, If then you were raised with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ is, sitting at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things above, not on things on the earth. For you died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ who is our life appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. This is where we realise that what we focus on is actually very important to us. You know, what we keep our minds upon is very important. We, we know what scripture tells us. It tells us he whose mind is stayed on the you will keep in perfect peace and, and our whole rule in that there is just to focus our minds upon the Lord to focus our minds upon him 
to lift it off the, the things around us, the things that can agitate us, the things that can distract us. And it's when we begin to focus our minds upon him, Paul says there, set your mind on things that are above where Christ is. And as we begin to set our mind upon him, the responsibility of peace is God's. It's his responsibility to, to bless us with his shalom, his, his perfect peace. So our heart and our desires must be directed towards things that are above, to the things of God, our mind, our intellect, our thought life, everything, our whole belief system must also be directed toward the, the things of God, set on those things that are above. I often find, you know, whenever I begin to get distracted by other thoughts and begin to think other ways and, you know, get distracted in my mind with this or that, what happens is, or what tends to happen is, things very quickly begin to spiral out of control. Or maybe in my mind, what I begin to do is I make more of them so I do than actually what they really are. But God has promised that he will keep us in perfect peace as long as we keep our minds focused upon him. And, and Paul keeps hitting this drum. He keeps hitting it. And it's like he's saying, you know, I want you to keep your eyes on Christ. Don't take your eyes off him, not even for a second. Jesus is the most important person. So keep your eyes focused upon him and look at him. Keep your eye on him. Focus on Jesus Christ every single day of your life on Christ. And so Paul keeps hitting it. He keeps saying, listen, keep your eyes on Jesus. I don't know if you ever see, you know, the event, you know, in the, the Olympics. It's the only time I really watch it. So it is, you know, in the, in the Olympic Games where there's, you know, a bunch of guys, they get in, in the rowing boats, so they do, and they, they row their boats. And with their backs to the finish line, they can't see behind them or the direction in which they're going. So they can't see the very end. They can't see the finish. But at the front of the boat, there's this small little guy, um, Basically, you know, sitting at the front, he sits at the front of the boat and he, he shouts instructions. He, he shouts encouragement. You know, he might be shouting, you know, pull, pull or row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Anyway, and so he's, in, he's setting the tempo, so he is. He's, he's setting the, the, the cadence, you know, for the, for the race. And the guys in the boat, the only thing that they need to do is to focus their eyes on the coxswain. And so it is, it's just to focus their eyes upon him. And he's the one that will, will keep their, their rhythm. He's the one that will keep them on track. And so they just have to keep looking to him. They might not see the finish line. They might not see what's coming at, behind them or what's happening upstream but they just focus their eyes upon him. And it's the same with us. Sometimes, you know, we, we, we may not know where we are headed or we may not know what direction life may take, but what Colossians chapter three here begins to deal with is begins to deal with where our focus is. And sometimes our focus can be on, on the wrong things. Sometimes our focus, can, we can be distracted by other things. And our role and our responsibility is simply to keep our eyes upon Jesus to turn our eyes upon Jesus because he knows where the finish line is. He knows how to get you from the start of the race to the end of the race. And he is the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end. And so you and I, our responsibility is to turn our eyes upon him, the author or the perfecter of our faith. You know, as we run this race of life, we're to, to turn our eyes upon him, we're to set our mind on things above so we are. So I wonder tonight, you know, about your walk with God, you know, how, how is it? Are you looking to Jesus the way that you should be looking to him? Where's your focus at the moment? Are you, are, are you adding something else on that, that shouldn't really be there? Are you looking to something else for fulfillment or satisfaction? If you are, then you're moving away from what is the most important thing. And that is to set your mind on the things that are above. And the things that are above, Paul says, set your mind on the things that are above where Christ is. What you need to realize and what you need to focus on that he is always going to be above all. He's above all powers. He's above everything so he is. He is seated at the right hand of the Father. All power and all authority has been given unto him. So I just encourage you today to take a moment to focus your mind to set your mind upon him. And I believe that as you do that, that he will bless you with his perfect peace, the shalom of God, that peace that passes all understanding will guard and protect your heart. May God bless you. May God strengthen you. 
my body courage you father lord i thank you lord jesus lord for our church lord i thank you lord for the people in lisbon elam lord i bring them lord to you today lord i thank you lord jesus lord for each and every one of them that may be tuned in lord and i just pray that you'd strengthen them and encourage them and lord keep them in the hollow lord of your hand for it's in jesus name we pray